In this video, we'll be taking up the first of two homework sheets on exponential equations. The first question asks us to write each expression as a power of the base indicated. So 64 cubed, we want it to write it as a power with a base of 4 instead of 64. So as long as you know that 64 is 4 cubed, then you can easily do this question. Now, if you didn't know that 4 cubed is 64, what you have to do is just play with powers of 4 until you get to 64. Um, but you should really know 4 cubed is 64. Uh, for B, basically the same question. You want to change 1 quarter to a base of 2. So 1 quarter is the same as 2 to the power of negative 2. Now C, uh, this one is the trickiest one because you want to change 5 to a power with a base of 4. So what you have to do here is you have to understand that powers and logarithms of the same base are inverses of each other. So that's why uh, 4 to the power of log base 4 or 5 is equal to 5. And this is a very powerful relationship because if you generalize this, you can actually change any two powers to have the same, if the bases are different, you can actually change them to have the same base using this relationship. Uh, now, of course, you have to have a base that's greater than 0 and not equal to 1. Uh, for question two, you're expressing each expression as a single power of three. So basically, you're just using your exponent laws. And as long as you know your powers of three, you can do question two pretty, uh, pretty easily. Um, but yeah, a lot of exponent laws from grade nine here. Uh, for question three, uh, you're asked to solve three equations. Um, basically, the approach is the same. You want to set the bases of the powers um, set the bases of the powers to be the same. Once they're the same, you can equate the exponents. Um, so yeah, that, that was basically the same strategy for all of question three. Now for question four, they made us do it two times. Uh, for the first time, they want us to express powers of a common base. So I changed 125 to be five cubed. Uh, the second time they asked me to do it, they want me to take the rhythm base 5 of each side. So I did that, I applied the power law of logarithms, and I solved for x. So no, no matter which way you choose to do this question, you'll get the exact same answer. Uh, question 5. Uh, I would argue question 5 is very similar to question 3. Uh, not much different. Uh, change both powers to so base of 5 and then set the, set the exponents equal to each other. Question 6. They're just making us practice logarithmic form. Uh, number seven, so once again, 16 and 64, they're very friendly numbers. You can express both as a power of base four or both as a powers of base two. Uh, regardless of what method you choose to do, you'll get the exact same answer of 11 over 15. So I'd argue that these um, exponential equations are very easy to solve uh, because you can set the bases equal to, each, to one another pretty easily as long as you know your powers. So in the next sheet for uh, exponential equations, they'll be a little more challenging. 